Hello everyone. Sherry. My name is Sherry. Welcome to my channel. Um, I have been working on Manny's shirt. I know. Three months in the making and finally she's sewing a thing. <laughs> anyway, I uh, messed up when I cut out the button pocket and I did baste the one that I did on but I only cut out one. <laughs> and I think it, I have them. Anyway, I will show you when we go upstairs. Um, so I'm making the shirt out of this fabric that's available at Men's Fabrics. And I'm using this as uh, some inside pop of color. And I do have the collar sewn together. I have to trim it. So I am using the McCall's pattern because I already had this traced and just never got around to it. And I believe I'm doing views. Maybe it's D that I'm doing, but it does have one chest pocket. I just put one instead of two because Manny's not going to be using his pocket anyway. But I wanted to try these two fabrics together because I think they look great together. A little different. Let's see if you can see that a little bit better. And this fabric sews together beautifully. But this one is, uh, if you make a mistake, the back uh, threads show through like if you unpick it. So that's not fantastic. So I'm not really impressed with this, but I think the shirt is turning out and looks okay. Maybe I need to put a new needle in my machine. That might work. Anyway, I have filmed some of the process that I've done so far, some of the cutting out and some of me sewing doing some sewing and I used a different camera so I'm not sure how well I might have to speed the footage up I haven't even looked at it yet so this is me sewing the calls 6613 I don't think my notches are cut very well. Because this is the yoke right here. And we want this to be facing out. So when we turn it inside out, it should magically be there. <laughs> we'll see. So you can always pin it and do a test, but I am not going to. I'm going to be brave. And do I have enough bobbin? Probably not. All right. Yeah. Let's 
also this. machine tells me when my bobbin is running low and won't let me sew. Oh, there's Remy to help. Might as well take this now. Because it is just going to refuse to sew anything. I think next we're going to do sleeves. I can't see the directions because you're laying on them. Yeah. You ever see a cat who likes their belly rubbed? Oh, we sew the sides on next. Ooh, I better plug the iron in. You like having your belly rubbed? Yes, you do. Alright, let's see if this works. Plug the iron in. Plug the iron in, Sherry. here all over my microphone. No, I don't. Alright. Let's see if this works. Let's hope so, or I'm going to look like an idiot. Ta-da! Did it work? Yes, it did. Look at that. There's the yoke. There's the yoke on this side. There's my pleat. That's the outside of the shirt. And then we have this beautiful fancy yoke on the inside. Cool. All right. So now we can sew the sides of the shirt together. But I should probably iron this first. And we're going to do a flat felt seam. Let's see if I remember how to do that. <laughs> Which is not in the directions. No, stitch back to front at sides. So, alright. Ironing.
Now I could top stitch this, but I don't think we will. It's not going to be that type of shirt. I don't want to top stitch. I think we should do stay stitching on the neckline. Does it show that? Here's Manny's shirt so far, and these are the cuffs. Buttonhole is not in there yet, but I put this fun fabric on the inside, and I think I showed you earlier that there will be, this is a button band that I messed up. I sewed it on to see if I have the color on the right side. Or the left side <laughs> but I wanted more of it to come out so I cut it I just cut it wrong so I cut a new one but I don't know if I'm going to put this on again maybe I will so I have to take this off because I only cut one but I think the shirt fits pretty good now I made a size small, I think I told you that already, and 
cuffs turned out pretty good. I think that looks nice with this fabric. Which you can't see very well. I'll turn a little bit, Manny. So, yeah. So I only put the one chest pocket on there. Because Manny can't use it anyway. So, and then the collar will go on. So hopefully this won't be... This is a size small. According to his measurements, he should have been a medium. But he doesn't move. So, anyway, you can tell how snug the arm is. If I can get him to move a little bit. I don't have the... Uh, seams trimmed yet so I just sewed it on and sort of pressed it and so that is Manny's shirt so far I like this pop of color on the inside so I'm going to have to fix that because um, I wanted to see some of the stripes on the outside but I just wanted it under the underneath one. And I'm already confused about which side the buttonholes go on. I think it's the left. That would be his left. So the buttonholes will go here and then the buttons. So I think I do have this on the right side. It's just I made it too small when I figured out my seam allowances, so I have to do this again. And I wanted more of the stripe to show, like about that much. Let's see, about that much, just a little bit. So, anyway, so this is Manny's shirt so far. And this looks like it's crinkling for some reason. I'm using the interfacing in my shop and when I ordered it, it was called lightweight interfacing and I call it medium because it's not too bad in the cuff though, just one layer. And I did use it for the collar and I have some cut for the button band. Right now there's no interfacing in that whatsoever. And I'm beginning to wonder whether it even needs any, but I will put some in. And I will tell you whether I think it's good. I think it's really good for bag making because I've used it for making tote bags. But for shirt making, I'm still not sure. So I think it's too heavy, but it depends what you're using it for. All right, this is probably going to be a long video, so I haven't looked at all the footage yet. So, anyway, this is where we're at with Manny's shirt. Making progress. If I had cut out the button bands properly, we would be farther ahead. But I'm liking this little, because if you rolled your cuffs back, I don't know, I think that looks, that looks nice. So we'll see how it turns out and see what it looks like in uh, Manny's very fitted shirt because it's going to be, there's lots of room in the back. See if I can turn him around. Ooh, look at that thread. So there's lots of room in the back. I still have my basting stitches in there. I hope you enjoyed some of that footage and I'll talk to you again soon. Take care everyone. Bye.